everyone, my name is Ricky, and I love going to conventions. Conventions, or more commonly known as cons, are places of gathering for people of a special interest group to get together and really just nerd out over particular interest. Pretty much if you have a special interest, there is a con for that. I mean, seriously, think of anything. Yeah, definitely con for that. And that. Weird, but yes. And since I go to quite a few conventions, I want to give you guys some tips on how to go to cons. And I enlisted the help of my good friend Chris because this guy goes to more cons than I even knew were in existence. So with our powers combined, I present to you a convention survival guide. First things first, be prepared to walk 500 miles and then be prepared to walk 500 more. <laughs> Seriously, every convention I've been to, I forget how much A, you will be walking and B, how much I don't walk in my normal everyday life because I am just in so much bodily pain in my feet. So be, be prepared to walk. This includes wearing comfortable shoes and maybe even going through the training sequence from Mulan just to be prepared to just be in tip top shape. Let's get down to business to go to the con. If you've been to a lot of conventions, you'll find there are a lot of fangirls and they do it all wrong. When they see the celebrity that they want to meet, they run up to him and they go, ah! Ah! Touch, 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 touch. To people that aren't those fangirls, it is rather annoying. And to the celebrity, it's still really annoying. So I want to give you a quick tip of how to properly Fangirl. Hello, my name is Fangirl. Will you sign this, please? I like the things that you do. Thank you. Also, allow me to treat you like a human being and not an object of my affection. Would you like to go get pizza? The point is to not lose your mind. Do your absolute best to treat them like a human being and a person that they will remember as being very calm and normal and not insane. I know I'm not your parent or your financial advisor, but I recommend that you budget the money that you're going to spend at a con. Most cons have a place called a dealer's room where you walk in and you'll see a whole bunch of cool stuff that will make you say, shut up and take my money. And oftentimes you are blinded by the awesomeness that you don't pay attention to how much debt you're making for yourself. Well, no, I'm all out of money. Guess I have to turn to a life of crime now. True fact, most supervillain henchmen are comprised of people who are trying to pay off convention debts. As many of you know, cosplay can be a very, very expensive habit. I mean, you can spend anywhere between $100 to $1,000 making the perfect cosplay. But some of us, we ain't got that kind of money. We ain't even got that kind of time. So I want to show you how to cosplay for $5 or less. Now, real quick here, you can either go with I don't know, a character that doesn't wear that many clothes, like the main protagonist in the video game, Catherine. All he wears is underwear and some horns. You can totally make that happen for less than $5. Also, you can always be a mummy. Get some toilet paper, wrap yourself up, do, 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 do. Next thing you know, you're a freaking mummy, man. It's so incredible. You can also try Super Mario. All you need is a red shirt and some overalls from the thrift store. Boom, you're in the money. Or you can go with my personal favorite, the T-shirt ninja. Now when you're going to a con, you will be tempted to pack every single thing you own. Trust me, I know. <laughs> I recommend that you pack light because you are going to a convention, not relocating to Narnia. So in addition to bringing the normal things that you would typically bring when you're packing for things like clothes and toiletries and deodorant, especially deodorant. Um, I recommend that you bring a camera, maybe permanent markers if you want people to sign things, um, extra batteries for all of your devices because you burn through your phone battery really quickly, and snacks unless you want to ride the food line ride, which isn't as fun as it sounds. Lastly, I want to show you guys how to sleep at a convention. All right, ready for it? One, two, three. You don't! Okay, you sleep a little bit, but you like sleep maybe like four hours, five hours at the most. You don't get your full amount of sleep, and you're not supposed to. You're supposed to be out there having a good time, meeting people, freaking just talking, running around, having a blast. That's what it's all about, man. Just soak in the good times and sleep on the plane. <laughs> and those are our convention tips. Chris, thank you so much for joining us for this video. 
Thanks a lot, Ricky, and I hope this helps people. Uh, you guys can find me at C. Andreas or Chris Sanders. If you've gone to a con before or have advice on how to go to a convention, let me know in the comments below because I am always looking for new conventions to go to. This video was partially inspired by SGC convention. I recently went and man, I just had so much fun. Thank you so much, Andre, Natalie, and JD. You guys really made this convention so incredibly awesome for me. And thank you for the guys over at Screw Attack who put on such an amazing and intimate and fun convention. Way to go. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Ricky. I'm making fun of videos every week. If you'll excuse me, I have some convention debt to pay off.